So hi everybody, my name is John Lunn, aka Johnny Chips, and a short video today to look at the use of Docker containers and how can we build a Docker container and publish that into the Azure Container Registry. So yeah, hi everybody, thanks for tuning into this video. It's going to be a relatively short video today, um, based off the back of a, a previous video and a previous uh, blog post, which you can access by clicking the link above. Um, today we're going to look at how can we use Azure Container Registry. How can we uh, store the images that we create on our local machine using Docker Desktop and publish those into an Azure Container Registry instance. So without further ado, let's just jump on straight in. So we're going to head over to my desktop here and you can follow along with the blog article I've recently published. The link will be below, but I just wanted to talk you through this process um, pretty much just using the, the code that I put in the blog article. So you can see I'm, I'm signed in here to where my local Blazor or Asm application is stored. Um, and if you recall, when we uh, did this originally in a previous blog post, um, I've got my Visual Studio Code, my solution file there all stored in this folder. And I've got this um, YAML file called Docker Compose. Now, to look into the contents of that, I'm not going to recap that in this video. I've, I've detailed that in a previous video. Um, but I just wanted to recap on how do we actually build our container uh, registry um, image, essentially, that we're going to use uh, to, to actually publish our application. So without further ado, we're in, a, we're in my... Um, uh, Windows terminal here, just logged into my the location of my application. If we look at the Docker desktop, we can see we've got no images currently on this machine uh, and we've got certainly got no containers running on this machine at the moment. So the first step to actually get in our image is to build that image. So if you recall, the first thing that we need to do is use the Docker compose for, uh, command and we're going to use that um, YAML file to do that. So if we just run that, this takes a few moments to run through, but we, if we follow this through, we can follow it through as well uh, in Docker Desktop. So you can see at the moment, if I just move that over there, that we're downloading all the relevant images from, um, from, from Docker Hub to build and complete our application and publish that into a locally contained uh, image that's stored on our local, my local machine here and is going to actually run in a container within Docker Desktop. So like I said, I'm doing this in real time. I'm hoping not to edit this video too much so you can see the kind of speed that this is all taking to download those initial uh, build images and publish images. And you can see what's going on there in my Docker Desktop window at the moment. So I've got the initial ASP.NET image downloaded and you can see now it's going to move on to actually download the, uh, the SDK image, that 5.0 focal. And we're actually building my application, my Blazor WASM application, which as you can recall was just a set of sliders that I can use to control uh, a robot arm. So you can see currently we're at stage 11 of 17, so we're currently building that project. And again, this is all going to take a couple of minutes or so, but I just want this to run through so you can get a general feel for how long it takes um, to actually publish this application into my Docker desktop. Um, so there we can see we've, uh, we're have we now on to the actual publish. Um, uh, so we're going to use that build image and we're going to publish that. So this is actually taking all that source code and publishing that uh, into my um, published image that I'll name, then rename um, Johnny Chip's Blazor Web App. So uh, another few moments, that shouldn't take too much longer now. But as soon as that is available, we can see what it takes then to take that image that will be running on my local machine and publish it into an Azure container registry. Um, and from there, obviously that centralized uh, registry that's stored in the cloud, we can use that um, in a later video and a later blog article to actually publish that container and run it in, in an Azure Web App service, essentially and access that over the internet. So we're in the final throes of this actual build process. Um, and there we go, it's there finished. So you can see that I've got my Johnny Chips Blazor WASM image that's running locally on my Docker desktop. Uh, and it's actually running. I'm not going to jump into it at the moment, but just that you can see that I've got that image running uh, on my local machine. So I can control C out of there because I don't want that to run at the moment. You can see that essentially the container that it was running uh, is now stopped. I can even remove that container, which I'm going to do. So I don't need the container running at the moment. I'm just interested in this particular image. So you can see I've got this image called Johnny Chips hyphen Blazor WASM. Uh, it's got a tag of latest. Uh, it's got its image ID and it was created less than a minute ago. In theory, all of these other images um, we can get rid of. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that just to show 
that the only image that I've now got on my machine is um, my Johnny Chips Blazer Wasm. So we can do a few things uh, within our command line now. So if I clear that down now, so we've got our image built. It's in our Docker desktop there running on our local machine. Well, it's not running at the moment, but it's on our local machine. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is, is log on to our Azure instance. So if I type in AZ login, we're going to use AZ CLI um, for all of this. You can see on my other monitor, it's just popped up asking me to select which account I want to log into. I've selected that and it's telling me now on the screen I've logged in and it's going to now find all those subscriptions that I've got access to. So I'm logged into Azure at this point. So the next thing I want to do is actually set the context of which application, uh, which subscription I want to use. In this case, it's going to be my NPN hyphen John Lynn. So there we go. I've set the context. That's the subscription that I'm now going to use. And you can see I'm just logged in. Uh, I'm logged into that uh, um, uh, subscription and tenant in the window behind. So we'll come back to that in a second. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to create a, a resource group within Azure, uh, obviously to store our Azure container registry. So we just use that command. We run that. And there it says that we're succeeded. If I refresh this view, it may take a minute or so to show up. A couple of refreshes, I should should say. But in theory, I should have my uh, resource group called Johnny Chips hyphen ACR hyphen RG. Refresh this a couple more times. Like I say, this can take a minute or two to show up. So until that happens, we'll we'll plod on with the remainder of what we need to do. The next thing we need to do is we're going to actually create our Azure Container Registry uh, itself. So if I run that, we're gonna we're gonna store it into that resource group that I've just created. This may take a minute or two to create, but there we go. It's come back now and it's told me it's created the resource um, as in the Azure Container Registry. So again, if I refresh this window with a bit of luck, it should show up there now. It's taken a little bit longer. Um, any moment now. In fact, let me go via subscription. There's my subscription resource groups. And there it is. So there's my resource group and in the resource group I've got my Azure container registry stored called Johnny Chips ACR 001. The next thing that we're going to want to do is actually log into that Azure container registry so that we know we're on the right path. I'll just clear the screen a second. So we use that command there to log into that container registry. Remember we're already logged onto our Azure subscription and at this stage we should get a message back fairly quickly. There we go, login succeeded. Uh, and then the next thing we're going to do is actually we're going to tag our... So if we go in and have a look at that container registry, um, which is there, we should see that container registry has got uh, a logon server, a fully qualified logon server. And we need to tag our image with that uh, essentially fully qualified name. So that's the next step we're going to do in our code. So first thing, we're just going to basically give it the fully qualified name. We're going to use a docker tag command. And we're going to give it a version. So we're going to use, take that name of Johnny Chips hyphen Blazer Wasm and call it uh, a fully qualified name, uh, then Johnny Chips Blazer Wasm. We're going to give it a tag of V1. And if we just enter that, what we'll see in our Docker desktop is we've now got another uh, instance, essentially. It's the same image, but we've got another instance with that name, uh, the fully qualified name contained. So. From that point then, all we need to do is push that image up to our container registry using this command. So we're going to use docker push fully qualified name slash Johnny Chips hyphen Blazerwasm v1. And at that stage, we're going to get all this um, these commands running, which are essentially just copying that image up to our Azure container registry location. So if we give that a minute or so, Again, it's actually uploading in real time. You can see the sizes of these things. So we've got 80 meg, that one's just completing now. Um, it's quite a nice little neat graphic that you can see they're actually pushing this up to ACR. So we'll give that a few more moment, moments. Shouldn't take too much longer now. Um, and then in the meantime, what we, what we can do is we can actually run once this is actually updated to show the um, show the image actually contained in our Azure Container Registry. So any second now that should be completed. And there we go. 
so now we can use the AZ ACR repository list to query that ACR and output what images have we got stored there um, by name. And we can see the result is we've got my Johnny Chips hyphen Blazer Wasm image. And we can confirm that by going over to our uh, Johnny Chips ACR 001. And if we go down to wherever it may have gone, repositories, we can see that we've got one there called Johnny Chips Blazer Wasm. And we've got a tag of V1. So there we go. Within a few minutes, we've created that image of our application. We've got it locally. We've run a few commands to tag the image and push it up to our Azure Container Registry. And so I guess the final thing to do is really see if we can run that image from our Container Registry. So using a Docker run command, what we're going to do is we're going to map port 8080 over to the internal um, image port of 80 and we're going to see if we can run it. So there we go. It's now running. And so therefore, if I were to browse over to uh, HTTP local host um, on port 8080, there we go. We've got my Blazor Wasm application running and it's running on the image uh, from my Azure Container Registry. And just to prove that again, what we can do is we can go back over to my command line and we can just control C that to get out of it. Again, clear screen. I'm gonna to go to my Docker desktop at the moment and I'm gonna stop the these uh, that container from running and I'm gonna delete that container completely. And just to prove a point, I'm gonna now remove these images completely from my local machine. Uh, which if I just refresh that view, there we can see, I've now got no images running on my local Docker desktop. So if I come back in here and run that image again, what we expect it to do is actually download that image from our Azure Container Registry and run it locally on my machine. So on that note, it's saying that it can't find it locally. So it's now gonna be downloading that directly from Azure Container Registry. Again, this is gonna take a minute or so. Um, and when that downloads, it's going to, because I've asked Docker run, it's going to map that port 8080 to the internal port 80, and it's going to run that. So we're downloading, we're extracting. There we go. We've got it running, and we can confirm that back in our Docker desktop window, and we've got this container running on port 8080. So again, if I go back over, and I go HTTP uh, localhost port 8080, there we have it we've got the application running. So on that note, that's all I'm gonna do for this video. Hopefully you found that useful. Uh, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to comment. And if you've liked that uh, little bit of information, please like and subscribe and click the little notification bell to, uh, to get notified when I release new videos. Uh, I'm gonna move on to another part of this process in due course in the next few weeks, uh, just with looking to how we use this Azure Container Registry image and publish that to a web app service plan. So for now, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next video.